hello friends in this video we are going to talk about ultrasound in first trimester first trimester of pregnancy is a very important trimester and in this trimester the all organogenesis of the baby happens it's very important to ultra, uh, get ultrasound done in first trimester to identify normal patterns and uh, any abnormality early as early possible the first trimester ultrasound is the most reliable ultrasound in dating of the pregnancy having gestational age true gestational age of the pregnancy and also identifying the early abortions now let uh, let's start in this uh, video first trimester ultrasound in which transvaginal ultrasound is more preferable comparing to the abdominal ultrasound but in trans abdominal ultrasound we work with higher frequency and our probe reaches more nearer to the uterus and the baby and the fetus so in this method we we get we get a high resolution image high resolution image is very important when we are talking about early pregnancy because in this pregnancy they are uh, hardly uh, uh, 10 15 25 mm maximum 25 30 mm kind of uh, markings we have to work with so such a small uh, uh, units like uh, mm's uh, we need a higher resolution that's why we definitely prefer transvaginal ultrasonography in case of early pregnancy now let's start with this thing uh, when you see in normal uterus in this in this slide i have seen this uh, the, the normal uterus you see on transvaginal ultrasound without a pregnancy is like this this is anterior wall of the uterus this is posterior wall of the uterus and the between them it seen is endometrium transvaginal ultrasound probe is reached to the cervix see here and from here we get the image now in this process what we are seeing is that the ovum uh, comes from the ovary the sperm reaches to the ovum and uh, fertilization is happening and the pregnancy is established into the endometrium this white part is endometrium this blue part is myometrium of the uterus now when we talk about fertilization in the pregnancy in human the fertilization is invasive fertilization it means that the 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 sac the g sac the pregnancy is going deep down into the endometrium so what we are seeing here is this line represents the endometrial line endometrial lining is always echogenic and this 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 endometrium in the, at this line the both side of anterior and posterior endometrium just meet you can see here that an, in anterior endometrium the pregnancy has been established inside the endometrium now Uh, when we see about intradecidual sign intradecidual sign uh, comes at 4.5 weeks almost what we are seeing here is a g sac gestational sac and gestational sac is the first appearance of pregnancy this g sac is nothing but a fluid filled cavity and around it echogenic lining has seen why it is echogenic lining because at that places the trophoblast has been developing and that area was edematous that's why we see a echogenic rim around the g sac you can see here echogenic rim this is the endometrium this echogenic line is shown as endometrium and above it this small sac small fluid fluid, uh, fluid filled cavity you can see that is g sac G sac should be seen at four to five weeks almost after uh, of pregnancy. The gestational age, four to five week, is is uh, the I think the maximum 
एज ऑफ प्रेगनेंसी वेन वी कैन सी जी सेक इन द टी वी एस ट्रांसवेजाइनल अल्ट्रासाउंड ना दिस एंट्रा डिसिड्यूअल साइन मीन्स द थिंग द जी सेक इज इन साइड द इंडोमेट्रियम ना इंट्रा डिसिड्यूअल साइन और डिसिड्यूअल सिस्ट in this thing uh, we have to we have to establish that, that our pregnancy is intrauterine or extra uterine when we see intra decidual sign it's almost almost certain that our pregnancy is into the endometria and intrauterine not outside the uterus but it is not the confirmatory sign again can you uh, can you see You sometimes you can see the fluid in the endometrial cavity that uh, that should be uh, well identified and ignored. It's not a pregnancy. It should not be taken as a pregnancy. No. Now, now the the second thing is very important thing is double decidual sac sign. Now, which is double decidual sac sign? What is that? See, uh, this is the G sac. and around g sac there is decidua the decidua means the endometrium of a pregnant lady and that decidua is called decidua capsularis this one and again the decidua seen which lines the endometrium it is called decidua parietalis so what is happening in here when we see there are two rings seen around the g sac the one sac we see is because of the decidua and the another sac we see is because of the chorion of the developing chorion of the g sac so two echogenic rings are seen that is called double decidual sign it is seen at 5 weeks and double decidual sign is almost certain of the intrauterine pregnancy now the third thing we find out in 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 pregnancy is yolk sac yolk sac is a circular sac structure first appearing in the g sac you can see it is minimum 5 to 6 weeks now the yolk sac has a thick wall and it is the first thing to be seen in pregnancy on ultrasound uh by time the amniotic cavity becoming more and more larger and the um, the yolk sac will be in between the amniotic cavity and the chorion so it will be uh, lost after uh, some time when the amniot amniot fuses with the chorion that is 14 to 16 weeks we lost the uh, yolk sac Uh, now what is the role of yolk sac yolk sac is definitely a very nutritive sac and uh, it provides nutrition to the ovum or uh, developing uh, embryo now the fourth thing to appear after g sac then decidual signs then yolk sac and the fourth thing appear is fetal pole now the fetal pole is the real fetus yolk sac is not a fetus sometimes sometimes people the new beginners actually miss uh, uh, miss diagnosis the yolk sac at the fetus or kind of abdomen of the fetus no it is not abdomen of fetus it is yolk sac fetus appear as a fetal pole and that is a very small starting from 2 to 5 mm at one end of the ring one end of the ring of yolk sac and you see here is diamond ring sign this diamond ring in the diamond in sense here is the fetal embryo it is seen at 6 to 7 weeks of the pregnancy by this time at 6 weeks of pregnancy uh, you can identify any flickering structures and that will be the heart heart of the baby 
cardiac activity can be seen at this value at this age now the fifth structure going to be appear is amnion amnion is a structure which is developing from the fetal pole and chorion it's going to be bigger and bigger and the yolk sac is going to be obliterated between chorion and amnion see you can see here this is yolk sac the circular structure is yolk sac this is fetal embryo and this is becoming the amniotic sac the amniotic sac is going higher and higher bigger and bigger and at the time chorion and amnion will be jointed so the yolk sac will be obliterated amniotic sac can be seen at seven weeks and then at this value Okay, uh, so you see here is first drop of yolk sac and then in this video yolk sac is small the amniotic cavity just uh, closing the yolk sac etc. Now after 8 weeks, 8 to 10 weeks, sometimes it uh, describes a 10 week, the embryo can be renamed as a fetus. In fetus, you can see all four limbs, head, uh, abdomen, area, and everything you can see after 10 weeks. And by this time, organogenesis is almost complete. So, a revision, there is nothing. First of all, we see this intradecidual sac. After intradecidual sac, we see double, double decidual, uh, double decidual sac sign then yolk sac and then fetal pole and then in fetal pole we see cardiac pulsation and at the end of the we see amnion now g sac how to measure the g sac we consider here is mean sac diameter mst we took three axis length or, 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 or measure of g sac anterior posterior transverse and superior to inferior this is kind of measurement we take height width and length and we just uh, sum up these three things and then divide it by three this gives us the msd that means mean sec diameter now what is crown rump length crown rump length you can identify after uh, seeing the fetal pole it is measured from the tip, the highest point of the crown means head to the rump. And crown rump length, CRL, is the actually the most significant and most appropriate exact marker of the age of the fetus. When we when there are multiple gestations in stem of one. What we try to identify in first trimester is the chorionicity. Monochorionic, diamniotic, dichorionic, diamniotic. In dichorionic fetuses, we see a T peak sign here. Because of the two decidua, membrane of two decidua are there. And in this uh, picture where we have a single chorionic fetuses, twin fetus. So in this video we can't find the chorions. Only two sex are there. So that's why it is called monochorionic. So we need to identify the chorionic city of the multiple pregnancy uh, when we talk about first trimester ultrasound. Thanks for watching.